Hi everyone. Today we're going to take a look at our diagnostic results. While in the diagnostic results tab that you see here, we can get the individual student results. We can see what level they are on in each domain, et cetera, et cetera. That's actually not what we are going to focus on today. Today we are going to focus on looking at that diagnostic growth. We're going to look at individual students and how they grew from fall to winter. We have obviously been dealt a very unique hand in education over the past several years, and we are still dealing with the aftermath of that uniqueness. It's important because of all of that, that we are looking at students as individuals and looking at their growth, not just whether or not they are on grade level. We can have students that are, that are having phenomenal, impressive growth that are still in that tier three category. And we don't wanna look at those students as if there's no progress or, or no positive things happening with that student. We wanna make sure we're looking at that growth, both for the morale of the student and yourself and their families, but also to know that what you're doing is working and things are progressing along the path that they should be progressing. Before I go any further, I'm going to say that you are welcome to pause or rewind or do whatever you need to do um, at any point while I'm talking. I know some of you may be following along your own data as I'm doing my data, which is absolutely fine. So feel free to go at your own pace throughout this video. Okay, so again, this diagnostic results tab will show you the results of the most recent diagnostic, but what we want is actually to see the growth. So we are going to go to the diagnostic growth tab, two different ways to get there. One, you can get there right from the homepage, seeing your diagnostic growth. We can go right into math. Or from the homepage here again, you can go into reports. Make sure you're in diagnostic over here on the left and then go into diagnostic growth right here. 